All right. Now, how about word games? Shall we play a word game? I love a good game. Some words are so silly, Nicole, <laughs> that you might not even believe they're real. Matter of fact, you probably never heard of the words, but you know what they mean. Try to guess the meanings of some common things associated with these words. Zarf. What do you think a zarf is? Well, it rhymes with a scarf. <laughs> yeah, so that is a good hint. That's a good hint because it's the ornamental cardboard sleeve that goes around your coffee oh, cup. Oh, so I guess it's like the scarf for a cup of coffee. There you go, a coffee scarf. Okay, how about <laughs> what's Griffinage? Well, I remember watching Harry Potter Gryffindor. movies. Gryffindor. Yeah, Gryffindor and Slytherin. Well, it's not it, the hat have, that tells no? you where you go. No? Okay, well, Griffinage is unreadable <laughs> handwriting, otherwise oh. known as chicken scratch. Oh, I like chicken scratch better, but Easy. now I know a new one. <laughs> okay, how about this next word? Can you guess what does glabella mean? A glabella. A very pretty gla. Because bella means gla? pretty in Italy, right? Oh, so it's a yeah. pretty gla. <laughs> Well, you mm -hmm. are mm, maybe sort of right. I don't know. It's, oh. it's the area between your eyebrows that furrows when you're frustrated or you're concentrating. The right. pretty space between yeah, your eyebrows. Your beautiful, beautiful furrow. You have a lovely glabella. <laughs> well, all right, next. How about a pearly cue? I'm not talking about a curly cue, but a pearly cue. P U R L I C U E. It might be curly. But again, Matthew, you can make a curl out of it if you want to. Are we just making these words up? No, we're not. A pearly cue is the space between the thumb and the forefinger. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hmm. There it is. We've circled it for you so you'll know what a pearly cue is. Okay, and this one is my favorite. <laughs> and if you're a weather lover, it might be your favorite too. What is petrichor? Do you know what it means? I absolutely do. Well, well it must have something to do with weather. Does it have something to do with weather? Well, I just, if you're a weather lover, then you'll like this word, oh. right? So, yes. Petrichor is an earthy, unusually pleasant odor associated yeah. with rainfall, especially after a warm dry spell. Oh, it's yeah. It's funny, you can always smell when it's rained, but I never knew there was a word for Isn't it. Isn't it a pleasant smell? I love petrichor. 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 The smell after the it sounds rain. so fancy saying it. Do you All smell right. the petrichor? <laughs> now, we won't be able to get that till next year now, right? The warm, warm, warm days followed rain. by rain. Well, you never know. We do have warm spells in winter. Oh. Today is a little bit warmer, but I wouldn't say it's like 60 degrees. So warm. no petrichor today. No, no petrichor, not today. Petrichor, petrichor.